Originality is completely dead on Roblox. It's been dead for quite a while now. And I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with Seek from Doors and his iconic Seek Chase, which a lot of people, including myself, find very fun. And so today I decided to go down the deep dark rabbit hole of Roblox and find every single Seek clone chase I could find and rank them in a tier list. Some of them are really good and most of them were really bad. And I'll be ranking these games on three different categories, their music, their gameplay, and most importantly, what they look like. Hopefully some of them will be bops, but unfortunately most of them were quite flopping. All right, number one, we have the current Seek Chase that we have indoors. So this Seek Chase is basically the baseline. It's what we kind of like rate and rank all the other ones off of. Some of them are gonna look better than the original. Some of them are gonna look worse than the original. Some of them are gonna be less fun. Some of them are gonna be more fun and all that jazz. So I'm like either deciding to put this on A tier or B tier. It's fun i like it but i do think there's a few things they can improve on it but you also have to give them the benefit of the doubt for starting this trend so i think we're gonna go give the current seek chase an a tier i think i think that's pretty respectable and guys if you guys disagree with any of them please let me know down in the comments i would like to debate this this i take this very i take this very seriously all right next is a fan game called doors but kind of cheap and shorter this is one of those games where it's like doors but worse doors but bad one of those types games i had to go deep in the roblox to find this one half of them are like uneven playable i don't think half of them even have scripts in them they're just free models littered around a random hotel free asset you can do better come on but to be honest this is one of the more better created ones and the title didn't lie it wasn't that bad there, there's obviously worse clones on the roblox website and this is definitely one of the better ones but regarding its seek chase it's it's all right i don't think they were trying to make it better than the original it's nothing special the music's all right the visuals are like kind of like classic Robloxy, which is a nice blast of the past. The Seek is just like a Roblox noob, so they completely just got rid of him and just used a free noob avatar asset, which is, it's kind of funny. I do, I do like that. I do think that's kind of silly and funny. In this one, there's no fire or like any eyes on the walls or anything like that. So like the whole like Seek aesthetic is completely gone. There is stuff blocking away like the furniture like in game, but the fire, Seek eyes, anything like that, completely gone. And I'll probably have to give this like a C, maybe like a B minus. Doesn't bring anything new to the Seek chase, which is kind of bland. Next up, we have a game called Doors But Decent. Yet again, it's another one of those doors but badly made type games. But this one's a little bit more loyal to the original aesthetic of Doors, which is kind of nice. As you can see, it has brought back the original Seek guys, and for the most part, it's a basically one-to-one -one copy of the current doors, just everything's a little downscaled and a little worse. Seek's back, but the animation's kind of scuffed, he's kind of kind of wonky, he walks like a Lego guy, kind of. Then there's the music, which I kind of, I, 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 honestly, I really do like. I really, really do like. It's basically they took the doors OST, then remade it in like one of those free music creator softwares. Everything just sounds kind of cheaply made and like, like a free app asset which is funny and it really does fit the aesthetic of the game overall it was playable it was beautiful it didn't do anything original but it did take doors and just make it a little bit worse but the music was good and the visuals were okay <laughs> but yeah I'll, I'll give this like a, a c plus probably this one has been the biggest letdown it's called doors but in minecraft i was expecting like a decently well-made experience within minecraft i feel like i was genuinely clickbaited with this one i can literally sit here all day talk about why this game's absolutely dog water but for the most part the doors don't work the gameplay doesn't work everything's just kind of broken i don't even think half of those things have like properly written scripts but most importantly what we're talking about is the seek chain or should I say the lack of the chase and the lack of the seek you would think maybe the enderman would be the seek chase but nope it, it's not and I feel like that's a very very big missed opportunity actually it's the iron golem yes the I iron 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 golem but yeah uh, apparently I don't know why they choose to do the iron golem instead of the enderman it feels like a very very massively big missed opportunity and the funny thing is if the golem chases you and grabs you nothing happens he just kind of like walks into you there's no death animation there's nothing in this game that can actually kill you this game was basically just thrown together free assets honestly f tier garbo the holy trinity the king of doors but bad games this was the game that kind of kicked off the whole subgenres of door fan games recreating doors just a little worse a lot worse or 
maybe even a little better. This is the first one. This is the most iconic one, and it's probably the one you're most familiar with. A lot of people will try to get me to play Doors with Bad. Honestly, not really for me. I'd rather play the original Doors, but I do respect what this game has done for the community. And in all honesty, it's not that bad. Don't get me wrong, it's nothing special, but holy moly, it's way better than Doors, but in Minecraft. Trust me, this one's actually playable with a sense of gameplay. The seat guys are literally just IPNGs with no movement, and they're just on the wall like glued. And Seek himself has no animation. He's literally just a standstill object moving towards you slightly fast. And the music very dull and it's dramatic, but it's it's nothing very iconic. But to give them the benefit of the doubt, Seek does kill you. There are objects. There is gameplay here. There is things here to enjoy and to respect. It's just door is just a little worse. But it's made well and everything kind of work works together, right? So I'm gonna have to be honest. I, I'll have to give this like a B. Roblox Doors Floor 2 Hardcore. Quite the mouthful, and no, it's not the official game. The whole idea of this game is kind of like reimagining or like theorizing what Floor 2 could be theoretically look like and to be honest it's probably one of the more appealing looking like copies on roblox and the seek chase within that game is definitely no exception the visuals may be great but there's one aspect to this game that i absolutely just adore the seek chase music is amazing it probably has the best soundtrack in all of these games combined and it really gives me like a cyberpunk feel and i i really do dig that and the gameplay is genuinely pretty fun it throws you into like a lot of different rooms and it's just there's a lot of variety there to keep you on your toes and the only major issue i do find myself seeing constantly within this whole game is animations being a little stiff like the arms are like they don't feel like they're real arms they just feel very stiff and i don't like that especially the doors too i personally feel like they need to work on the animations a little bit better to make them feel a lot more realistic but that's honestly that's very little but I think that could be like an improvement they could work on. But overall, the whole experience is really good and you should probably go try this game. Uh, what should I give this? Uh, a, S, B, uh, I don't think I can give it an S tier. It's didn't really completely blow me away, but I do think I can give it an A tier. But overall, great game. Highly go recommend it. If you thought the last game looked good, you're about to be completely blown away by this masterpiece of a seek chase. The game is called Doors Floor 2, but this isn't any normal gameplay. This is with RTX on, meaning the graphics are on maximum overdrive. And you can definitely tell that by seeing what you're watching right now. But there is more to it. The gameplay is actually pretty intriguing as well. There's stuff flying at you. There's stuff moving at you. There's stuff trying to grab you. This has every single thing that you would need from a good seek chase. A lot of dynamic scene within the run. And the music you do here is actually like a more upbeat remix of the current seek chase, which does fit really good and it helps with that like adrenaline rush and like really pushes the map to its full potential. And unlike the last game, this one has really good animations and everything feels very smooth and feels like it's real you know and honestly it would be absolutely criminal to give this thing anything other than an s tier so <laughs> big boy you get yourself a good old s tier my friend next we have a level more for the roblox door historians if you guys watch my fact videos on c or just maybe like my iceberg videos on the whole doors lore you guys are quite familiar with the old concept art of seek and the old seek ost well someone actually recreated the old model of seek and grabbed this old song and remade the old classic seek chase that we never got released and they basically tried their best to make the prototype of the seek chase that we got leaked way before so the game's idea is really good redesigning the old prototype that we never got but if we get rid of the novelty of the item of being classic doors the game does fall quite far the model looks nice the music's all right but they were changed for a reason because obviously the current doors model do look better and the current music does sound better so this game's already going to be at a disadvantage but the level design is very bland and especially the gameplay it feels like this game was thrown together within a day but to give the creator the benefit of the doubt they were working with limited resources and limited leaks and i guess they're trying to stay loyal to the whole idea of beta gameplay but after playing this game once the whole novelty idea really falls flat and there's just nothing more more value to it so it's like a play once and never touch again type game and i'll probably have to give this game a c tier is the seek chase too easy for you are you a professional roblox door player well then i got the perfect map for you it is called seek chase difficulty hard and oh boy 
this was quite the roller coaster of a game. So imagine the normal seek chase, just a marathon. This game is the embodiment of diverting your expectations. You'll get to a part like, oh, this must be the end. But the game will throw you at 180 saying, nope, you're actually running for another 10 minutes. The chase will bring you through the library, a thousand, and even the courtyard, and all over the goddamn map of doors. It's actually quite funny. I really did enjoy this game. The music again is another like rendition remix of the current door music. And a lot of these games follow the same path of taking the door music and just doing like a remix of it. It's, it's, it's not a bad remix. I like it. Mostly, most of the games do pretty well on the music side. That's probably the easiest thing of all. But from a gameplay standpoint, I really enjoyed how the game kept on tricking you thinking it was the end. But in reality, you're running a lot longer than you think you are. But after a while, the game did get a little buggy with Seek literally getting stuck in the floor i don't know how often that happens but from my playthrough he did but even then i did have a fun time running through the obstacles so i would probably give this game a b it would be an a minus any bugs if you thought doors but bad was bad you have not seen this game the game's called seek chase remake by ha 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 12 real and holy moly this is probably the worst game i played today so they took the seek chase and basically put the difficulty up to 12 and made it a pay to win game Call me bad, but I couldn't beat this game. I, I tried. I, I really did. But there's a few reasons why I couldn't beat it and why I didn't even bother to beat it. First off, the hallways are literally this big with 10,000 objects being thrown at you with fiery things that could murder you with a pixel perfect accuracy. It's pretty impossible running through that hallway. I couldn't get through it. But you know what? I don't mind a hard challenge. You know what I do mind? Getting my time wasted. Every single time you die in this game, you need to wait 30 seconds to respawn. And once you respawn, the map doesn't reset until everyone else is dead in the lobby and you might say oh just create a private server so you can instantly respawn nope that doesn't work either nope that nope 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 actually if you do die in a vip server it brings you back to a normal server so regardless you need to quit the game then rejoin your vip server again and that takes around like 45 seconds maybe so every single time you die after like a 15 second run or even like five seconds and you need to wait like 45 seconds to get back to the game and that's very very time consuming and don't even get me started about the pay to win elements you feel extremely slow in this because how many random objects are blocking your way doesn't even make sense how the layout works you need to pay robux the more the more robux you donate the faster you get in game this game is basically just a pay to win cesspool created for only one reason corporate greed capitalism f tier this one goes out to the og players of doors as you guys remember before the hotel plus update we had a different seek chase it's basically the seek chase we have now just everything like especially the animations are a little a little less the music's the same the visuals are mostly the same as you know in the first area of the seek chase you have to crawl down under the bookshelf but in the original there was like a crawling animation but i think they removed this because of lag issues for some reason i think if you had like really bad internet that animation would lag a lot and you wouldn't get through in time there's nothing too special about this whole chase it's just pretty nice from like a nostalgia point seeing the old seek model and the old seek animations pretty dubbed i like it i'll probably give this like a b tier <sighs> april 1st also known as april fools which also was the release date of doors super hardcore mode say what you want about that update i personally really enjoyed it and i thought the seek chase especially was quite funny they just took seek and gave him a car the whole update was basically a fever dream and probably the funniest thing about this whole update regarding seek is that he's in a car right but he's he's only like this much faster he's only like this much faster it's super hardcore mode but i would expect it being a little bit more harder there was definitely a lot more harder ones in this list but seek was definitely pretty mid when it came to this update but it was pretty silly so bonus points for that i'll give this one a b tier yeah b tier for silly haha -ha, goofy car moment good one doors good one Oh my god, this is one of the craziest door clones I've ever seen in my life. The game is called Appear of Phobia, and they blatantly ripped off doors. A lot of you guys missed this, but let me break you down why this game is probably one of the best seek chases in the all of the door clone genre. First off, they basically took Seek and gave him steroids to make him big, jacked, and an absolutely unit giga chad of an entity. Look at that man, he is zonked, and don't even get me started about this music. The music is a banger. 
ear, ear, ear. It's a complete classic rendition of the Doors OST. And none of the other door clones come even close to this amazing ear, 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 ear sound, even though the song kind of does make my ears bleed. The gameplay is very, very good. It's got you going left, it's got you going right, it's got you go up, and it's got you going down. <laughs> it's very claustrophobic, but it does it perfectly. And the tension is always at 10. And that's what a seek chase should do. It should always be high energy, high intensity, and like, holy moly, I gotta run, or if I make one mistake, it's Joe over, my guy. So I would probably have to give this seek chase clone definitely an S tier. And if you guys don't think this is a seek chase, guys, come on, there's doors in this game. It's basically a ripoff of doors. Be honest with y'all. Be honest. This seek chase absolutely blew my mind. This door clone is called Pompey Playtime Forever. In this seek chase, clone they completely scrapped the hotel and they reimagined the whole game in some sort of like toy factory which is quite the um unusual design choice but i respect the creator it's good to do something a little different and let me just start off with the visuals of this game are very good they're very colorful very bright very consumer friendly and i really do enjoy that but it does lack a few characteristics i think it does affect the game heavily first off i really don't like the whole new seek redesign it feels very counteractive of what seek used to be instead of like a big dark figure of scary gooness. It's kind of just a big furry blue bear or something like that. I don't even know. It's like a teddy bear. It's kind of odd. It doesn't even feel like it's supposed to be Seek. But what do I know about character design? I know nothing, right? But I do know what makes a good game good. And this Seek Chase does fall short of that. This Seek Chase does have intensity, but in reality, the danger is it's non-existent. This Seek isn't really like a Seek Chase. It's like a Seek Walk, honestly, chasing you through a tight little vent, which is kind of scary. But at the same time, I can just like pace myself and I'll get there eventually without him even getting even close to me. So I would recommend to the developers making him a little faster. That's just my expertise. But overall, this game is pretty decent visually, but it does need to work on its gameplay. Oh, wait, this game has battle passes. This gets an F tier because the game has battle pass. Why does this game have battle pass? Don't add battle passes. Make it good. Make sure you like and subscribe and watch this video next. You will not be disappointed.